Hey guys, September is a very important month to me. Um, September is Alopecia Awareness Month, and it's also the anniversary month of the time that I shaved my head so that I could start to take control over my own uh, <clears throat> my own alopecia condition. So I wanted to, before September is over, I wanted to just really quickly come in here and show you my regrowth. You can see uh, I have a lot of hair now compared to what I have show you what spots I do have. My hair is really curly too. And um, just tell you my quick story. So this is how much hair I've got now. It's regrown. Um, I do have a couple of spots still, um, but they are coverable. We got another one back there. They are mostly coverable and I don't have any of the itching or anything right now. So um, yeah, this is, this is, my regrowth. I actually, I don't have my long hair that I used to have, um, but I have come a long way from where I was before. And, you know, my hair is like really curly now too. <laughs> I can sit here and like, and it's so funny, I can like sit here and twirl my hair and it will curl and hold a curl. And my hair was never like that before. So it's kind of, it's kind of fun to have hair again. Um, so anyways, um, my alopecia story began uh, my ninth month of pregnancy with my second child, who is now five years old, and I, it started off, I found a quarter size bald spot on my head, and I didn't really think anything of it. I had had, the, I had, a, had a spot like that before when I was a kid, and I, it just didn't really, I didn't really think too much of about, about it. Um, but then by the time, so she was born in February, by September of the same year, my hair was so sparse that I had to shave it. There was no getting around it. Um, so I shaved my head <laughs> and um, it was really weird at first, but I did it and took control over it. I actually ended up getting a tattoo on my head, which you can't see because my hair has grown in over it. Um, but here, yes, this is the tattoo. And um, that made me feel really badass and I really felt like I was taking control over my life. I started wearing wigs and I learned all the best places to get wigs. Um, I learned how to find them. I learned how to get insurance to cover them so that if I wanted to go out, you know, I could do that. I started a fitness program. Alopecia is really what motivated me to start a fitness program and start on my own weight loss journey because I didn't want to, I didn't want to be completely out of control in every area of my life, so I did that. It's just been, it's been absolutely amazing having alopecia, and it's not because, it's not because I went bald, and it's not because I like how I look bald, even though I do, it is pretty cool. Um, but people were so supportive about it, and it was just it was just nice you know once you come out there and you're like hey this is what I've got going on people were super super supportive about it I did get a lot of um, hugs from strangers because they thought I was a cancer survivor and that was kind of awkward because you know you don't really want to say like hey I I'm not when they start pouring their heart out to you about their own story or a loved one um, and you don't really want to reject their uh, their emotional adva advances, I guess. So I, that was kind of hard. Um, but I don't know. It's I've come a long way in a couple of years. Um, I hope that my hair continues to grow because I really do miss my hair. <laughs> like, to be completely honest, I really do. And I still, even after all these years, I still look in the mirror and I don't see myself. Um, I see a stranger looking back at me and one of these days I am confident that I will have my long flowing hair again and I'm going to treat it better. <laughs> I won't dye it, I won't put harsh chemicals in it, I'll make sure I condition it. So please hair gods let me have my hair back because I will treat it better this time around. But that's just my really quick alopecia story. 
Um, over 2% of everybody has a chance of getting alopecia. It's not something that's unheard of. It's not something that's uncommon. When I first came out and told everyone, like, hey, this is what's going on, I shaved my head. Um, I shaved my head live on Periscope back in the Periscope days. Um, and it was... Um, it was really fulfilling because a lot of people came to me and they're like, hey, I have alopecia, what do I do? Can you help me find a wig? Can you, um, you know, help me find support? And I'm still, like, even though, like, my hair is growing back, I'm still here for that and I'm still an open book. If anyone has any questions about alopecia or wants to know anything at all about the condition or whatever, um... I have no problems helping connect you to the support or helping you find decent wigs for cheap prices or anything like that because it's still a part of me and I mean you still see I've got these nice beautiful bald spots um, but yeah I just wanted to say happy alopecia awareness month and um, if you have alopecia, you are loved by many people, and that is all, I guess.